Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. Today on lesson 16, we're going to talk about how to recognize and handle missing data in SAS. So this is definitely important for those who want to go into like data analysts or data science positions where you're able to clean your data and you're able to think about how to handle missing values. So let's go ahead and get started and let's start first with numeric data. So missing numeric data is going to be denoted by a period and numeric data in general in SAS is always right aligned. So if you look at our data set, so here you see how score one is numeric data that is right aligned. Score two is also right aligned and anything that's missing is denoted by a period. And the same thing with score three. So that's just how you can recognize if a column is numeric or not. If it's right aligned and it has periods, that's a numeric column. Even if it doesn't have missing data, you can just look at it by saying that it's right aligned. So the first thing that we did was generate some data by typing in data lines. So I have four variables here, ID, score one, score two, score three. And I just created six observations of scores with observations randomly having a missing value in them. Note that observation two does not have any missing values, okay? So we have one observation that is complete. All the other observations are incomplete with missing data. So how can we handle these missing values, especially for numeric data? One way that we can do it is impute them using the mean, okay? So impute is a fancy word that basically just means change. Change the missing value to whatever the mean is of that entire column, okay? And this is ideal that it, if your column is normally distributed. And we're gonna talk about distributions in a later lessons, but pretty much if you have a nice symmetric distribution for the most part about the mean, with a mean of zero, that's called a bell curve, then you can utilize the mean to impute the missing values. Why does it have to be normally distributed or as close to normal as possible? Because the mean is not robust to outliers. So what that means is if you have some data that's pretty much like this, since the mean is the average of all data points, anything that is an outlier or skewed, right, is going to be incorporated in the mean, all right? And so we're gonna talk about outliers as well in a future session. But one option in order to handle missing numeric variables that's denoted by a period is that we change those missing variables to the mean of the um, column. Now, how do we get the mean? We can run a proc means, all right? So let's see how this actually works in SAS Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the data that we're working with. You can easily type this in as well. I'm going to copy and paste this in the description below so that you don't have to type it, but it's always great to get some practice in typing. And so now we're just going to run a general proc means data equals, and we're going to say data equals scores, and we're just going to run that, okay? Because the data set that we created above is the scores data set. So once I run this, and I get some results, and it says the means procedure. So I see in score one, it has five observations. It's supposed to have six, but one is missing. That mean is 69. Score two has two missing observations. That mean is about 80. And then score three has two missing observations as well. That mean is about 91, okay? So we can utilize these means to pretty much change anything that's missing to that corresponding columns mean. So let's go ahead and do that by creating a new data set. So let's call this scores. And I'm just going to call it impute so we can get used to that word. Impute just means change something to another value. The set that we're going to read from is the same data set that we created above, which is scores. 
And now we're going to do some conditional statements, okay? So we're going to say if score one is missing, then score one is going to be equal to whatever the mean is of score one. So we can hit results at the top and we see that the mean is 69. So we're going to do 69. Then we're going to say if score two is missing, then score two is equal to the mean. So let's hit results again. And we see that score two, we're just going to round it, is about 80. And then we can say if score three equals missing, then score three equals 91. And that was the mean for score three. And we can run that. And when we run this data step, we see in our output that now we don't have any missing variables, okay? Or any missing observations based off of every variable. So score one, it imputed the last one with 69. Score two had two missing, so it imputed the first and the fourth one as 80. And the same thing with score 93. I mean, score three, it imputed with a 91. Awesome. So that's one way that we can handle missing data. We can change the variable that have missing data to the mean of that variable. Okay. So anything that was missing in score one, we changed to 69, et cetera, et cetera. So we can also impute with the medium. Why is the median ideal? So if you do have some of those skewed distributions, like I've said earlier, the median is going to be robust to outliers. So outliers is not going to affect the median. So if you have a lot of outliers in your data set, or if that variable is skewed in any manner, then the median might be more ideal and more robust to those outliers. So this is what we utilize for the mean. So let's go ahead and create the median by going back into SAS Studio. So right here where we have proc means data equals scores, if you hit space, a whole list of options for the proc means comes up. And if you scroll down, you should be able to find median, okay? So let's go ahead and type in the keyword median it's not shown by default. Let's go ahead and run that. And I see that the median for all of my scores, so the median for score one is 72, 81, 91. So we can go back, we can change our if statements to 72, 81, and 91. And that is how we would impute our data using the median now. We're just gonna hit on output data versus the actual mean, okay? So there's many ways that you can change numeric data. You can use the mean, you can use the median, you can use the 90th percentile mark, you can use the 25th percentile mark. It all depends on your data and what business questions you're trying to answer. So last but not least, after we talked about imputing, we can now talk about that we can drop it, okay? So we can drop observations that have missing values. Be sure that you have a justification for dropping data. A lot of times in analysis and in machine learning, the more data you have, the better. So you really wanna be careful that what you're dropping, okay, that is not limiting your data set, that is not incorporating bias into your data set, there's a lot of things to consider when dropping observations, but that is an option. So let's see how we can do that in SAS. So keep in mind in our sample data, we only have one observation that's complete. So we would wanna drop all other observations and only keep that one, okay? So basically we can say data, let's do scores underscore drop. We're gonna still read from that same data set that we created. And we wanna say if score one equals missing, then delete. So delete is a keyword that's going to tell SAS, hey, 
go ahead and delete any observations that have a missing value at that variable. And so I'm just gonna copy and paste. And then now we see, I can change it to score two and I can change it to score three. And then I can run this. And so when we run this, we see that we have one observation left, which we expected. So that's pretty much numeric variables that are missing, how to handle those. There's are tons of different ways on how you can handle missing values, but nine times out of 10, you're either going to impute it with a, with a value, whether that's a mean, a median, a percentile value, et cetera, linear interpolation. So you're going to utilize a model to help you impute those values, or you're going to drop them. All right, so now let's hop over to character variables. So something to keep in mind on how to recognize if a variable is character or not in SAS is that they're always gonna be left justified and any missing values are going to be blank, okay? So we have some fake data here that we generated with a whole bunch of character variables. And so let's see how we can handle those. So it wouldn't make sense to impute anything that's missing for a number, right? So if I want a color, I don't want to impute this missing value with a one or a 91. That just wouldn't make sense, right? Maybe I want to impute this value with the most common color in my data set. Okay, and so that's where proc freak is going to come along. Proc freak is going to tell us the frequency of um, levels within a variable in our data set. So as we see on the right hand side, I have the color tan, I have the color white. I see white is most often shown in my data set. So maybe I want to impute that with white. So let's go into SAS Studio and see how we can do this. And I already have the data lines created. Like I said, you definitely can create this. So we're creating a new data set called cars. We have our four variables. ID is a character. Make is a character. Model is a character. Color is a character. That is what the dollar sign after the variables mean, that those are characters. And now I have one missing value. So I can go ahead and run that. And I see that I have a missing value on observation two. Then I can run a proc freak, okay? And I can look at the color variable. So this is just a one-way frequency table. So it's gonna be proc freak data equals the name of the data set. The keyword is table. And after table is the variable that you wanna look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And that's how we get this output. And I definitely can see that white is our most common color in our data set. So now I can impute, okay? So down here, I already started off with imputing, but let's see, if our color is missing, then color is equal to white, okay? So basically I'm creating another data set called cars impute from the set of cars that we created above. And then I'm saying, hey, if it's missing. So notice that a missing value for character is a blank. Then I wanna change that color to white. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. And now observation two has the white underneath color. Or as I mentioned for numeric variables, it's also possible that you can delete an observation that's missing. So I would say if the color is missing, then delete. And then when I run that, I should no longer see observation two. ID two has been deleted from my data set. So very similar to numeric variable. The main difference here is that if it's character, the missing values are going to be a blank. If it's numeric, the missing values are gonna be a period. It wouldn't make sense to impute a missing character value for as a number, right? Because it's character. So we use the mode or the most often color in our data set or some other method. You definitely can go ahead and delete 
missing observations, but have a rationale. Don't just delete observations just to delete observations because you don't want to deal with them, okay? So all in all, that is how you can handle missing data in SAS. Like I said, there's tons of different ways that you can handle missing data, including creating a model that's going to help you estimate the missing data points, okay? So thank you all for tuning in to lesson 16. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next lesson. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.